Hey, what's up? It's Izzy with I Do The Most. Um, we're back with our Shiny Course playthrough. I do want to apologize before I start the rest of this episode on the fact that the last video was cut short. Again, my phone is acting weird. It doesn't tell me when it's low on space and stuff, so I gotta go back and fix up a couple of things, but... Uh... So this will basically be a continuation of episode 16, and we'll, we'll see where we go from here. Would you like to buy something? Can reduce magical attack by 10%. I feel like I should get one of these. I'm going to get one. Who's going to carry it? Who has really low magic defense? I'll give it to Ken. Hold up. No, I, I tried to purchase it. I didn't mean to go back. Alright. Because Ken is usually one of the first people in battle. And if he it does run into a situation where there's mages we won't have another gong situation or at least that's the idea try to minimize losses if possible and let's go through and see if we have any other items to sell what is that a power staff Nah, I'm gonna keep homegirl with the poison one. I know the power staff's pretty powerful, but the poison staff puts in work too. If you could poison them, that could be beneficial in certain situations. Come one, come all. Today's main attraction is a battle between Rune Falls and the Magnificent Shining Force. You won't see this anywhere else, folks. How about it, sir? Okay, it'll start soon. Why don't you sit in those seats over there? Now we're the Magnificent Shining Force. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. Yikes, it's the Shining Force. I don't hurt me. I promise not to do any bad things anymore. Ha, a likely story. I know you're up to no good. Darn it, how did you know? Take this. You killed me. Wasn't that great, folks? What a thrilling performance. The gallant Shining Force defeats Dastardly Runefalls. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Be sure to come again. Funny how the roles have changed. When we first came here a few episodes ago, it was the Runefalls soldier who defeated Guardiana, who was represented by the actor that plays Max, and every and everybody seemed to be rooting for him. Now it seems like the roles have been reversed. Uh, I hate this, bro. What was I thinking, becoming an actor? Oh, what a great bro! I want to keep playing it forever. And last time, basically, their dialogues were swapped. <laughs> I guess, I wonder what made them change their mind. They never really explicitly expound upon that. Like, it's not like they say the news of what happened in Guardiana and such and such has reached here. So, I don't know. Let's see what the mayor has to say, though. What did you say? You want me to lend you my family boat? That boat belonged to my ancestors. I can't just lend it to anyone. Although, I'll consider it if you do me a favor. Interested? Sure. Well, my grandson has disappeared. No one has seen him leave town. 
but we can't find him. Please, will you look for him? If you find my grandson, you can use the boat as much as you like. I'm counting on you, Max. Find my grandson. What does the dad have to say? I beg of you, please save our son. We're desperate. I bet that'd be tragic. Oh, dear lords, please bring my baby back to me safe and sound. All right, I got you. I don't think he's over there in the trees. Are you the son? When I grow up, I'm going to open a shop in Guardiana. I heard it's a nice, peaceful country. My dad always said that before he died. I just had to fit that in there, didn't you? Just made it dark for no real reason. This, that boat's not for sale. It's been in the mayor's family for years. If you really want it, then you'll have to talk to the mayor. All right, we already went for that. The mayor's grandson? Come to think of it, I saw him up here a few days ago. You don't think the circus people... All right, you can go on and look, but be careful. All right. All right, so Gong is still out. But we did gain Henri and Arthur since we last visited here. We did use Henri last battle, but Arthur has joined us now. Let me see, does Arthur have a... Uh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have a spear. So I'm going to go back and buy Arthur's spear. And then we'll come back to this battle. Let's optimize our battle strategies. We're in a situation where we need somebody who can hit an extra space away. That could definitely come in handy. There's no reason not to. No, he don't need to equip it now. Alright. Um, I thought I got out of here. There we go. Just want to distribute some medical herbs. Alright, so everybody has at least one. I have a word with you, Max. I'm glad to see that, you're, that you've gathered so many companions. I think now would be a good time for me to explain about team. Sadly, you cannot bring all of your companions into battle. The surest path to victory is to choose those warriors most suited to the situation. To do, to do this, you will need to use the command team. Now that your battle party can have up to 12 members, including yourself, Take a look at the list using the team command. Party members marked with a circle will go into battle with you. You can set or remove the circle mark using the A button. If you're happy with the characters you selected, press the B button to exit. That's it. Shall I explain it again? No, I I'm good, fam. Very well. Then, I trust you grasped the concept by now. Got it. Alright, so clear within 8 turns to receive the zombie charger which that was the item that was available in the shop that does extra damage to zombies to be fine now. do I have 12 members for him? Oh. alright hey let's do it are you ready to begin the battle? yes well hello there Max do you remember me? It's me, the fortune teller from Alteron. You. Well, you may not remember me, but I remember you. He said you, so... I don't know if that was like sarcasm, like... You? Or you? <laughs> well, you may not remember me, but I remember you. Tell me, 
What are a bunch of stragglers from Guardiana doing nosing around here? I'd think that losers like you would have the sense to go back and hide in their holes. Why you, you better watch your mouth. Michela. I've heard the name somewhere. Aren't you Runefoss? Princess Anne She's the legendary wish Michela. I wish I hear she has awesome powers. The very same. I am Michela. A witch in the service of Runefoss's forces. That fool came. He came. He wasn't up to the task, so I'm here to finish the job. Marionettes, my puppets, my precious little children. See that these warriors get the ex most excruciatingly painful death imaginable. That was hateful. Alright. Chill them. I only Hans getting one shot at. Free experience points, don't mind if I do. defense for her level but she's a few levels behind on par so I'm gonna just pull her to the side and you know have her play more of a support role for now let them come in a little bit you could attack him all you want to two points of damage that ain't shit catch that counter though that was shit Poison, you bitch ass mannequin. Alright. What is your defense? Hold up. Defense is 12, so with the lance, I should be able to do. My attack is 19, so 7 or less, because there is a, a reduction right there. Oh, shit. Bruh, get the fuck out of here. First battle, first attack. That's wild, yo. Oh, they play too damn much. <laughs> yo. Yo, I can't believe that just happened. First attack, though, it get countered and poisoned, and that's what takes him out. I swear, this is like this is literally just like a Pokemon Nuzlocke. It'd be like the most unfortunate circumstances that it take a Pokemon out. Like they'll live and then get hit by a sandstorm or get hit by poison or get burned or something. Alright, let's do it. We got this. It don't matter, you can... For every one that you drop, there'll be another two that joins. We lost Gong, and we got Henri and, um... Arthur. We lose Arthur, we won't, we, we gonna get some more members. Send him with that freeze. Bruh, I can't believe that homeboy died after his first battle, after his first attack. That's wild. I feel some type about that. All 
Alright, so I'm gonna heal Max. And at the start of the third uh, round, I'll end this video. So that we're not going on a half an hour before this battle's over. Um, if you're liking the series so far, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And share it with another fellow RPG lover. After this, we will be trying out a couple other RPGs from back in the day, like Golden Sun, uh, probably the, the Dragon Quest games, uh, the earlier Final Fantasy, Final Fantasies, and I am open to taking suggestions, so if you have any, let me know. And we'll see about uh, trying those out as well. I do want to do something that I've never played before, so like Golden Sun and some of the earlier Dragon Quest games will definitely definitely be down that alleyway for me. But um I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.